Hey folks, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can change the batch size of a sub-QL query. Now on screen here, you can see I've gone ahead and created a standard project using the sub-QL init command, and I've called my project batch size. I've accepted the defaults, and then I've gone ahead and changed my directory and entered the batch size folder. I've then run yarn or yarn install to download the node dependencies. Then I've run yarn cogen to generate the TypeScript code, and then I've built it as well. So next up, I want to run the docker compose pull command to pull down the images. And then I'll go ahead and run the command docker up. This is going to spin up my node instance, and then we'll see the batch size here. Okay, you can start to see that some of the blocks are being fetched. So 1 to 100 here, and a batch size of 100. 101 to 200. 200 to 300, etc. So how do we go ahead and change the block batch size? Well, let's go ahead and stop this instance here. Let's go and open up the source code. So you can see here, I've got the batch size project. And what I'm going to do is jump into the docker compose YAML file. And in here, we want to go to the command keyword and go ahead and add another flag. Let's go dash dash batch size equals say 50, for instance. What this Docker file does is it runs these commands when the instance starts up. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to our command line terminal and let's run docker compose up again and we'll see the results. And here you can see the batch size has reduced to 50 blocks. So my fetching of the various blocks are in smaller bite-sized pieces of 50 blocks at a time instead of the standard 100. So to go ahead and change this block size, all you have to do is modify the Docker Compose YAML file. Now, the advantages of reducing the batch size is that your hardware can use less memory. You can also get a faster response time because you're actually querying for a smaller payload. However, the disadvantages can be that you have to make a lot more calls. And also, potentially, if you're being charged on an input-output type quota or billing system, then you're definitely making a lot more reads. So there you have it, how to very quickly modify or customize the batch size in your sub-QL query.